registered. So I can send it to the other people who registered. All right, so, um, so today's talk, um, I'll be talking about sugar and supplements that I use um, went for sugar addiction and sugar cravings. So I hope that that is something you're interested in because <laughs> that's what we're gonna talk about. So um, just a little bit um, about me. I'm Dr. Peoples, I'm a, a functional medicine doctor and I actually have a program called Cocaine in My Cookies that helps people beat sugar addiction. Um, but I also, um, that's more of a lifestyle program. It also includes supplements in that program, but these are gonna be supplements that if you are just you know, trying to improve the way that you're eating, but you've been really struggling, the supplements I would recommend for that. So let's get, jump right in. All right, so, um, I'm going to tell you a couple of stories about a couple of my patients. Um, the pictures aren't real, but the, um, or uh, the names, but the, the comments are. So um, I take all these supplements and I never know what I'm taking. Um, if I'm taking the right thing, having a doctor who actually knows about supplements has saved me time and money. And so this is something I hear a lot because a lot of people are on supplements um, and they don't know what they're taking, why they're taking it, and if it's actually working or doing anything. So I will hopefully... Um, help with that today as well. So like I said, I'm Dr. Peoples. Um, my mission is to prescribe health um, so that you can feel 10 years younger and live 10 years longer. Um, and I do that through lifestyle and hormone balancing. Um, so if you have not checked out my website, drnicolepeoples.com, you can find out more information about me there. Um, so we're going to talk about why we crave sugar. Also, um, you know, the lifestyle associated with cravings. Um, although this is going to be talking about supplements, it, uh, supplements are supplemental to a, a good, healthy lifestyle. How to choose the right supplements. Um, my favorite um, supplement, so I will get very specific about the brands that I like and the supplements I actually like. Um, and oh, I said my favorite ingredients and my favorite supplements. And then also how you can get a discount on supplements. Um, so why we crave sugar. So this is, um, the way I usually explain what I do, which is root cause medicine. And so this picture is depictive of symptoms, right? So at the top, when you think about a tree, what you see in the leaves and in the branches usually is just indicative of what's happening deeper down in the soil. And so when we think about our health, it's very similar. What we see, what we feel, the symptoms that we're having is just, um, a, indicative of something happening deep down. So it doesn't matter if your issue is sugar addiction, obesity, or weight gain, depression, brain fog, fatigue, that is not the reason why you have the problem. The reason is deeper down. And so as it pertains to sugar, um, at the top, I've shown you a couple of illnesses that are related to sugar. And then in the bottom and the roots are some of the causes. So um, there is an addictive cycle that happens with sugar. So really learning how to break that is really important. Um, there, your bacteria in your gut um, can actually cause you to crave sugar. Um, eating too frequently can mess with your hormones and cause you to crave sugar. And then eating processed food, which oftentimes triggers the brain to also want to crave, um, is also an issue. And then also stress. So it can also lead to sugar addiction. Um, so how do you address this from a lifestyle perspective? Well, the framework that I use is called the People's Life pres um, Prescription. And I use this and it doesn't matter if your issue is sugar addiction, if it's diabetes, if it's cancer, I'm going to address these seven areas. And just briefly to, to go over them, the first one is personal life, which has to do with intention setting. This is, you can't change a behavior after the age of 25 if you don't have an intention. So your willingness to even show up today is a beginning step of personal life, like what, you know, having an intention to make a change. Food life is about what it sounds like. It's about food, what to eat, when to eat, what not to eat. Sleep has to do with sleep, obviously, and how to optimize that because sleep can, in fact, affect the way your health is, but it also affect your symptoms. Fit life is about movement and fitness. Connected life has to do with your uh, immediate circle and that impact on, you know, your health. Detox has to do with the toxins in your environment. And then resiliency has to do with stress. So we address all of these from a lifestyle perspective. And then we add in supplements um, uh, onto that. So we start here with the people's life prescriptions and then we move on to supplements. So let me give you just a quick example of a lifestyle or a plan that 
address the sugar addiction. So again, I talked about in personal life, it's about setting um, an intention to eliminate sugar craving. So this is just you having a willingness and really willing to think about how sugar plays, what role it plays in your life, and then figuring out, um, not necessarily figuring out what to do, but just deciding that you're gonna do something, right? Um, planning for eight hours of sleep. So I, I do have a whole entire talk on lifestyle plan around sugar. If you're interested in that, you can look um, for that on YouTube and I'll put the link in the chat at the end. But um, so to, and it talks about the impact that sleep has on your craving. So if you're a person who stays up late, then I'm sure you have experienced that situation where you crave really sweet foods or you may crave lots of carbs like um, rice or bread or cookies. Um, because sleep can impact those cravings. So um, a detox, so eliminating sugar from your diet for three weeks to reset the, that biochemistry, that brain addictive cycle. So that's um, um, just one way to help your body detox from sugar. Um, food life, obviously eliminating or decreasing highly processed foods is one of the best first steps um, that you can take. And then resilient life, really thinking about mindful eating fit life movement throughout the day. So three 10 minute walks daily, as opposed to like just going to the gym and working out for an hour, actually moving more frequently through the day is gonna help balance your sugar better and help reduce craving. And then community life um, or connected life has to do with being around people who actually you know, value you wanting to change um, and support you in doing that. And so joining a community um, of like-minded people or just enrolling some of your friends, family, spouse, whatever. So I'm gonna tell you about Erin. Um, she says, I still love my salted caramel cheesecake with whipped cream and vanilla bean ice cream. So this patient was very specific about her favorite sweet food, but now I can literally eat a few bites and be good. And so the reason I really like this quote is because um, it's not about never having sugar. It's about being able to control your need for sugar. And so that you are in control and not the sugar. Um, and so she um, is just one client who, um, she said, you know, even after the program, she was like, oh, I sure did go and get that cheesecake, but I was able to eat a few bites and it was like too much almost. So let's talk about supplements because that's what you came here for. So supplement life is not one of my seven lifestyle um, pillars because it, it's, um, it's like tier two. It's like you do the lifestyle stuff and then we talk about supplements. But a lot of people like to start with supplements. So we'll, you know, if you're one of those people, then obviously we can, uh, we can start there. So what's really important whenever I talk about supplements, so I'll tell you this. So people ask me all the time what supplements to take. And I always have to talk about what's on the slide before I even go into the supplements because people really want quick answers. But I really want to make sure that when you leave any lecture or talk I give that you are equipped to go figure out what you need to buy, um, even if I'm not there standing over your shoulder saying, this is the supplement. So the things that you wanna consider when you're buying any supplement is you wanna consider quality and safety. It's really important for you to know that supplements are not regulated. So they're not regulated the way that drugs are. And so um, making sure that the um, supplement company that you're using has been third party tested, which just basically means that someone other than the people making the supplement actually test it for purity, for allergens, um, consistency. So like one batch is the same as the next and contaminants. And so I know that um, the, as a story, I always tell about a, a study that was done where they went to like Costco and Walmart and like the dollar store and they got all of these fish oils um, as a, just a supplement and they compared and um, very few of the supplements that they tested actually had in it what it said it had in it, right? So, um, or didn't have contaminants that didn't pass the safety and quality test. So you really wanna make sure that you're buying supplements from a company that is reputable and has testing that's been done. So you also wanna make sure that you get the right dose. So oftentimes I see people will like, you know, peddle or like try to sell people supplements. Um, and the thing about it is, is that on the label, it can say whatever it wants to say. You can say that this supplement is gonna help make you live 10 years longer. You can say that the supplement is gonna eliminate your sugar cravings. The only thing you can't say is you can't make a diagnosis or like a claim for like cure. But other than that, if I decided to make a supplement company right now, I could put whatever I wanted on there other than claiming to cure something. And so oftentimes people will read these 
and just assume that the whatever's in that is sufficient. And um, even if you look at the label and it says it has a specific ingredient, the real question is, does it have the right dose of that medication? Has that dose been studied to, to actually do what it says it's gonna do? So you wanna make sure that's gonna happen. And then you wanna make sure that it has good synergy. So there are certain supplements that don't do well. Um, you know, They're not absorbed well unless they're synergistic or they're paired with something else. So you wanna make sure that you um, get a supplement that has the right pairings. You wanna make sure it's in a form that can be absorbed. You wanna make sure that you are taking a form that um, you enjoy or that you can actually tolerate. So if you don't like capsules, you don't like pills, maybe you prefer powders or maybe you don't like liquids because you don't like the taste. So there's a lot of things to consider and you have to wonder whether or not that form you're taking is, is absorbable. And then the last one, which is probably the most effective, does it actually work? So all of the supplements that we're gonna go over are going, um, I chose because, um, of these factors, right? So I'm gonna go over the certain ingredients that I really like for sugar um, addiction, but also for sugar cravings. So um, we're gonna talk a little bit about protein, alpha lipoic acid, MCT, chromium, cinnamon, and berberine. Now, I'm not gonna you know, bore you with all the details of these things, but what I want you to know is, is that if you're going to go look for supplements, these are some of the ingredients that you're gonna look for. Now, again, you gotta worry about dosing. You gotta worry about, you know, it does it, um, is it pure? Does it have contaminants in it? Um, is it synergistic? Um, so if you're doing this on your own, there may be a little bit more for you to think about. And you want to make sure you're working with a doctor who actually knows about supplements to make sure that there are no interactions with other things. But so these are some of my top ingredients. There are more, but you know, we only have 30 minutes for tonight. So this is um, my top, how many of that six? <laughs> So let's talk about my products. So I put four of them here. We'll talk a little bit about each of them. Um, and you'll see that I chose a variety of formats. So glycema core, which we'll talk about is a powder. Um, Berberine Synergy is, um, is a pill. The organic MCT is an oil and pro omega blood sugar is a capsule. So these are all different forms of supplements and they all have different effects. And some of them can be synergistic. So in glycema core is a powder and this one um, helps to balance blood sugar. So it has the ingredients that we were talking about before. So it's got some protein in it. It's got alpha lipoic acid. It has chromium in it. Um, so it has a lot of the supplements that we were talking about, and it doesn't just help with blood sugar balancing. It also helps with um, cardiovascular health um, and weight. Um, it's a great supplement that you can take as a meal replacement because it also has nutrients in it. It's a protein powder. So um, the thing to know about this one is you want to make sure that you drink um, you take it with a lot of water because it does have fiber in it that can cause constipation. You want to make sure you drink it within 20 minutes of, um, of constituting it, 20 minutes of adding water after adding water. And then you want to um, taper your way up. So you don't want to start it all at like the full dose. You want to start at half the dose for about a week and then increase it to the full dose. And all of that dosing is on the actual bottle. Berberine Synergy. Um, is um, really great because berberine helps with diabetes, prediabetes, also insulin resistance. So um, another really great supplement, particularly if you have those conditions, but even if you are pre-diabetic or you're a person who is just interested in sort of uh, balancing your insulin levels, berberine synergy is really great. It also has um, the added effect of helping people with fatty liver, PCOS, high triglycerides or high cholesterol. So this one you wanna take with food and, um, oh, and you want to, um, uh -oh, what did I do? This one you wanna take with food and you wanna be cautious. Sometimes it can cause an upset stomach. So you wanna also go slow with this one. So MCT oil is a really popular one that um, is uh, talked about. Um, now, particularly for people, they put it in their tea or their coffee in the morning. And part of it is because a lot of people who are doing keto, keto diets, um, you can remain fasting, but you can give yourself 
um, the fat to use as fuel so you don't get lightheaded or any of the other side effects of not eating. Um, so it's really um, a great addition, but one of the reasons it's great for um, sugar cravings is because it helps to balance blood sugar, right? And it helps to not um, uh, give you that, um, that sensation of hunger like first thing in the morning. So I like to take MCT oil in the morning. Um, and what's surprising about this is oftentimes, um, particularly for those who are intermittent fasting or they're not eating breakfast until later in the day, MCT oil actually helps to decrease the number of calories you eat in a, in, in a total day. So um, it's also very helpful for like weight management in that way. So you know that seems a little bit counter because you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna be you know, eating or drinking a pure fat but actually, it, it, um, because it helps with your regulating your blood sugar and your cravings, it really helps with that. So the last one is an omega. Um, this one in particular is an omega-3 um, fat, which is a really important um, supplement for a lot of reasons, particularly for inflammation and for joint pain and for all kinds of re inflammatory related conditions. Um, but this particular supplement also has uh, added alpha lipoic acid in it and chromium. So I talked about those two before um, as being really great. And so it really works great synergistically um, with um, the glycemic core. So you could do this as well as the glycemic core and to ensure that you're getting adequate dosing. Um, so again, this is just another really great option. So those are my supplements. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Kristen. She says, I used to crave sweets all the time. Now I feel like I'm in control. And again, Kristen um, is another patient who, again, did the lifestyle, but also used, um, used supplements as a adjunct to that. So if you're interested in finding out how you can order some supplements, um, this is a great time to do it, usually around Black Friday. Um, there is a sale and that's when I like to buy my supplements. So if you go to this link, which I'll put in the description, you can actually um, create an account with Fullscripts and the sale starts on the 24th. So once you create a, an account, you can browse around and I have created a nice ready-made link of all the supplements I just went over today. And that can be found here under sugar cravings. Um, and then if you wanna browse around, I also have a couple of other things under my favorites. There's another um, link with more supplements that I really like for blood sugar and insulin support. Um, so you can browse here. And like I said, starting on the 24th, there's a Black Friday sale and you can get a discount. Um, so you wanna go here to buy these high quality supplements um, and to get a discount for those. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about my program, Cocaine and My Cookies, just in case someone is interested. Um, so this program uh, goes over these lifestyle things that we talked about um, that we didn't really address, but we kind of grazed over and um, walks you through how to actually uh, implement the lifestyle strategies that helps you beat sugar addiction. So that's Cocaine and My Cookies. It's a self-directed um, program um, that also um, provides health coaching support and supplements are included in this program. So um, love cocaine and my cookies. So if you're interested in that, the link is here and will also be put in the chat. And then um, if you're interested in my flagship program, which is the Black Women's Guide to Health Hormones and Longevity, this really is sort of the reset the, um, that most people are looking for, right? When they're wanting to reset their overall health. And so I really encourage people to, um, you know, take a comprehensive approach to their health if they're trying to optimize the way they feel, look, and age. And so that's what this program does. I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's an eight-week online course, but it, uh, uh, where all the information you need to go through the program is there. But there are adjuncts to help support you throughout that program. So there are weekly lives with me so that you can ask your questions, you can get support, so you can troubleshoot along the way. The goal here is for you not to feel like you are um, trying to figure things out on your own, that you actually get support along the way. Um, you also get one-on-one -on -one health coaching with the health coach, so we can help tailor the program more closely to you. And then we also have an online program manual 
and recipes so that you can have everything that you need at your fingertips. You have direct messaging with the health coach. So if you have questions along the way, you're never left without someone there to answer your question. And then there's a closed Facebook group where I post often and help support women and answer their questions throughout the week. So again, this is an awesome program. It launches in January, on January 8th. Um, and you can register now if you're interested. So I'll also put that in the link um, below or in the chat. And if you have questions, please let me know. And that is a wrap for today. Um, I appreciate um, everyone who showed up live and anyone who um, couldn't come uh, live but um, still watch this afterwards. I appreciate you as well. And if you have questions, um, put them in the, the comments and um, I'll get back to you. All right, talk to you soon, you guys.